Wilson, did you get your trail wrap this morning? I did. <laughs> 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 Well, it's hard for me to believe that it was how many years ago, Paul? It was 1999. 1999 when I came back. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had had a few years in the morning of a, um, of a nice guy, of a meteorologist, but he was no Paul Williams. Just kind of plain vanilla. So when Paul burst onto the scene one morning, I remember closing out that newscast that morning when Melissa Pace and I were kind of getting to know him and introducing him to folks. And he, he, the way you did your last weather, you kind of, you kind of said it like this. <laughs> and and we were, we, we were just blown away that this guy had so much personality, and he kind of sounded like a preacher. And I even said on the air, despite how he sounds, he's not a preacher on the weekends. And little did I know that would, uh, that would eventually change. All those years ago, and it was almost immediate that Paul had a had, had a fan base that just just was loved him. And has has stayed loyal to him, and that that you know, reflected on the whole the whole crew, and has for all these years. So it's hard to believe we're at this point where you're moving on. But an offer that he couldn't refuse. But uh, you put in a lot of good time here. We we've had, as you saw this morning, a lot of uh, cutting up over the years. But also when that when it got serious, we had a lot of those times too. That's why we included the the bit about the Brandon uh, tornado once upon a time. Mm -hmm. So we're going to miss you, Paul. We're proud of you. We're happy for you. And I know we'll hear from you again. Absolutely. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, I, um, well, I guess the big guy showed up. You can come on down, Dan. Come on down, Dan. You're the new general manager for WLBT. <laughs> this is my guy, everybody. Everybody say, hey, my guy. Hey, hey my guy. guy. All right, all right. <laughs> Start preaching if we let him. Well, I'm going to tell you something now. <laughs> Paul, I go way back, way back. Popcorn showers, you remember that? Oh, that's the right. The weekends. <laughs> popcorn showers. Popcorn showers out there. Uh, back to when he was reporting, doing weekends, mm -hmm. and he went to Jackson State with the help of WLBT. Mm -hmm. Did his degree in meteorology, then went off on a little sabbatical, and came back. So we're just looking at this as one more sabbatical you're going to take there, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> so go up the road just a little bit, and uh, you know, you're always welcome back here. Appreciate all that you've done. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Case, my oldest, one of my oldest friends, <laughs> is my only friend. Uh, you know, there are laws against discriminating. <laughs> 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 That's what they tell me, Bert. Well, I, um, I guess I wanted to, here, you, you take this. Um, I wanted to, first of all, uh, let everyone know that uh, I'm thankful, first and foremost, to God for allowing me to be in this business. Because I've always dreamed, my dream growing up was, I'd like to, uh, I had told my mom when I was like 11 or 12, I'd love to have a job where people paid me to just be me. <laughs> That's what I have. Um, I'm thankful uh, to each and every one of you who have played one role or another in my learning more about the business, whether it's from a technical standpoint with the engineers or whether it was from learning how to, to, to deal with people from Lucille in the front to Lean Mean Sally Green and, and, and for the folks that I co-anchor with and reported uh, to, with Dan uh, and with Wilson who was the one with the big Afro wig, <laughs> which I pointed out to everybody, that's like our news director now, you know. Um, I, uh, I, I would consistently say, well, you know, I'm not one of the spring chickens anymore around here. In the sense that I came in, I was the, the young guy, you know, and, and all of so that. Was I. Yeah, you know. yeah, that's when you had all dark hair, you know, but I can't talk. I have gray hair, too. You know, I just don't show them black as easy. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> it, um, it's been good. I left and I came back uh, because I wanted to raise my children in Mississippi. And when I called Chief, I've called Dennis Chief since day one. And when I called Chief, I just said, Chief, I need to, I need to uh, raise my kids in, in one place. And see, so he said, you know, um, I got somebody that's on his way out anyway. Why don't you come on down and hang out for a minute? That minute turned out to be the last 14 years. Uh, and so, you know, and there have been some things from a meteorological standpoint that, that uh, uh, I think it, it, sometimes it gets lost in a personality. But, you know, when I, when I left, when I went to uh, St. Louis, I covered the massive floods there. When I went to Connecticut, I covered massive snowstorms there. Then when you come back here, uh, you know, you cover... The, the, the gosh awful storm of Katrina, you know, and all that stuff and around the clocks. I mean, it's been a lot of things from a meteorological standpoint. But the best part has been 
get to know each one of you individually. I feel that I have at least had a chance to either nickname you personally, you know, or get to know you personally. You know, some of you, I, I may call you, you know, some, some of you, I mean, I don't, some of you, I didn't even learn your real names until recently because I'm so <laughs> used to calling you by your nickname. So I thank you for indulging me in my multiple personalities uh, in doing so. I am thankful for those who may not know, I am going to Memphis. Uh, the Memphis job just happened out of the sky. I wasn't looking for it. Really was not looking for it. Uh, they called me. They had me come up. They pitched the city to my wife. They didn't even talk to me. <laughs> you know. Uh, but from then I started figuring out they already had their mind made up on what they wanted to do. And that's flattering. It's always nice to be wanted where you are and to be wanted where you're going. So I have the best of both worlds. I wish you all the best. I wish you the best of health. I wish all of you get closer to your creator. Because that is ultimately what is most important. Serve God and keep his commandments. That's it. You don't have to become a preacher for that. Just a person with some good old-fashioned common sense don't hurt. You'll be amazed how much common sense and Bible mesh with each other. <laughs> and most important, one other thing Solomon said, the most that we can do in this world is enjoy where we work, eat, drink, and be merry, and enjoy your family. Ultimately, this is just a job. When you die or go somewhere else, somebody else must come behind you. You don't take it personally. That's business. Personal relationships, that's priceless. I appreciate all of you. By the way, when we go to the studio after you eat here, the club is on. Two dollars at the door. Aaron, you work in the door? Yeah. And y'all come on in and hang out. Thank you all very much. I appreciate it.